important week for electric vehicles. More than 500,000 of them have now been sold across the U.S. But is Indy ready to have more of them hitting the streets? Our TV 6s Jason Fechner is working for you tonight to see if the Circle City is charged up for more EVs. Well, sales of electric vehicles have definitely reached a milestone, meaning that you might soon be able to leave the gas station behind. And when it comes to being ready for them, from the infrastructure to charging stations, Indianapolis is ready. Ten years after the award-winning documentary asked who killed the electric car, the future for electric vehicles, or EVs, is now. As soon as you have opened the car, you start to pay. In the national spotlight in Indy over the past year with Blue Indy's electric ride sharing program, sales of EVs nationwide topped half a million this week as Chevy announced its new Bolt will travel 238 miles on a single charge. Another perk for EV owners here in Indy, all these Blue Indy charging stations, you can actually sign up online and then charge your own EV from any of these around town. We're at the top of the pack. The nonprofit Energy Systems Network has helped to lead the charge, leading Indy to the forefront when it comes to infrastructure and charging stations. PlugShare reports there are nearly 150 charging locations in and around Indy, with more than 600 public charging ports. A start and a sign of things to come. More has to go on. I mean, Blue Indy's going to continue to grow. Their goal is to reach 1,000 charging stations. That's certainly a, 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 a big number. Uh, but you're going to need lots of charging stations at uh, workplaces. So companies like Eli Lilly, IU Health, and others have already started to provide some charging infrastructure for their employees. But that's likely to increase as more and more uh, employees show up with these electric vehicles. And for a full breakdown of where all those charging stations are right now across central Indiana, simply hit this story now through the RTV6 app. Reporting in Indianapolis, Jason Fechner, RTV6.